it's Chris here and I want to run through the progress that I've made on my game which I'm currently loading called Expand. So I'll quickly load up the debug menu and the title screen Lewis script. And now you notice what happens is as I move around the level different options will be highlighted based around my position and when I try to load some of these options a sound effect will be played and that little message will pop up. Now some of the options like begin and quit I can currently do Begin will jump to the script that I set in my script to jump to and quit will just quit from the game. And in order to do this I had to allow for scripting of animation of, on circle text and scripting of sound effect uh, which currently weren't supported. And so now what I'll do is I'll just jump to the arg, which is misspelt, uh, <laughs> yeah, the arg demonstration level because I've made a few changes here. One of the first things I'll quickly show you is that when I draw the physics, you now notice that there is no join between the player and the center of the world. I stripped out that join because I'm forcing all the motion by hand, and it's actually a good thing because uh, now when I move around, I don't get drag from that join, which I was getting before. Um, only one or two players noticed that drag when I showed them the demon, this arc demonstration level a few weeks ago. And so I'll just turn that back off. And now you've noticed that as you're pushed out, you're actually squashed as you get to the edge. I didn't leave quite enough space here, so the players are squashed. And now I add this option here called No Death Menu, um, which will prevent um, the reloading of the level when you die. And that's really important because when it comes to um, these harder levels, I don't want to have to sort of play them over and over and over again just to test one small aspect of that level. So when I die, I want to be able to respawn and go back in, which is why I have this respawn button here. And I'm in God mode so I can move through the wall. So I'll just turn God mode off. And now I can play as, as normal and I'll get a little um, spray of particle effects when I'm squashed. And if I just hit a key or respawn, I'll be thrown back in. Um, another thing I worked on this week, which you can't see, is I worked on the particle system a little bit. I added the ability to support not just quad particles, but point and line particles as well. So if you look at my previous YouTube video, you can see a good example of a uh, of the uh, of the line particle effects in something I was just playing around with. It looks really cool, actually, like a lovely fountain of pink. <laughs> so I recommend checking that out. Um, my initial intention was for the squash animation um, instead of having a series of quads, it'd be a series of lines that would come out, but that didn't end up looking as appealing as I was wanting, so I ended up settling for quads. Another thing I implemented this week was the pause menu. So last week you could pause, but you wouldn't get a, um, a menu to highlight that. Now you get a little bit of text, and hopefully um, by the end of next week, you'll have a few options that you can select from, such as returning to the main menu screen or quitting the game. So that's everything I worked on this week. Um, next week I've got lots of different things to work on. Um, so I have to work on creating groups of sectors. So if I go back to the title screen, actually if I load level1.lua, you can see here a group of sectors. So there's one, there's the inner one, the outer one, and this sort of filling sector as well. And I might want to apply an operation to all these at once. And instead of doing it to each sector, I want to be able to group the sectors and then to apply operations to them. So that's one thing I want to work on next week. The other thing is checkpoints so that when you die you don't go to you don't go back to the very start but to the last checkpoint. I also want to allow for faster reloading of uh, levels when you die. So currently what happens is that when you die um, all the content is removed and then reloaded back in where what really should be happening is for the state of all that content to revert to its original state. On top of that, I also want to work on setting up masking with the text and with the space. Um, in terms of masking the space, it's a little bit hard to explain what I'm trying to do. And it's ho it'll hopefully only take a few weeks to get that implemented correctly. So I'm going to wait for later weeks to show you what I really mean by that. And that's everything that I'm hoping to work on next week. And that's everything for this week. So thanks for watching. And I'll hopefully have your attention again next week. Have a great week, guys and girls.